Man, wait, man. Before we get into the video, man, I had to bring to y'all this sweet merch, man. So my boy D came up with this, man, and we are all into this investing you stuff because if you really support Chosen One Rising on Chosen Timing, you're going to support this, man, because this is resonating with us, man. Investing in yourself is the best investment of all. Bye. was popping man it's your boy chosen one rising in and i'm back with another video man simple man hold on hold on bro what type of time man? what type of time man? where my watch at we on chosen time right now man look look man this is part three man Level three, if you made it, if you haven't made it from root one, level one, which is the root chakra, go to that first video and watch the root chakra so you can know what's going on now. If you haven't watched the second part, the so the sacral, the sacral chakra, go watch that so you can know what's going on. But this is part three, the solar plexus, the solar plexus is yellow, right? So let me go ahead and get to this. I got some notes like I have right here the soul place is like relocated right here in your stomach area maybe you're like your your top abdomen you see what i'm saying but connected to your like diaphragm area and it acts as a personal a center of personal power with like your ego your personality your identity and your personal freedom things of that nature things around that surface you feel me like your choice your authenticity of who you are all resides right here you feel me so how to know when it when it is unbalanced man so you feel like you have le lack of self-esteem you feel weak-willed you have poor digestion poor digestion that's why you gotta watch what you eat um you have like a a victim mentality right you always like man it's not my fault um, this happened to me when i was younger i didn't think i can do it man you aren't able to take responsibility of your actions Right, and that's very important to make a change when you have to take responsibility to your action. You got addictions or attraction towards stimulus. You're not feeling like you're worthy enough, man. You don't feel like you're worthy enough. You feel like you're just not good enough for the things that you're doing or, or good enough for the things you're receiving. And that's how you repel. So you need to get that balance. And then the ways that you can balance it, man, I'm gonna tell y'all a little later, but when you know it's balanced, you are able, you are, you, the solar plexus is dealing more with the self. So, it's like you have self-discipline, self-esteem, self-motivation, self, man, self or life, man. You really have a lot of self-traits. That's going back to your personal power. When you feel balanced, you feel like a sense of humor. You feel like a lot of playfulness within you. That's why it's connected to your sacred. You have a healthy self-esteem. You're responsible. People can rely on you. When, you, when this is, man, you're reliable on yourself. You, you're responsible, and people can count you as reliable when you move, moderate in this being balanced, your solar plexus being balanced. You have a warmth in your personality because this is your personal power, this is your ego, this is all of that stuff, your choice. And you're able to make decisions and meet the challenges, man. That's very important. You gotta go with your gut, meet them challenges, make them decisions that you need to make because your, that's your intuition too, your gut feeling. When you have that gut feeling, you gotta be able to make them decisions and be able to differentiate what is the right and wrong thing to do. So you have to strengthen it. How to heal it, I would say, you can, your 364 hertz, man. 364, 364 hertz, it activates it. It activates your imagination, your intuition, your intention, bro. And a way you can activate it is like, hands like this. This is the mudra and the mention that you say. You sit like this, man. You put your attention on whatever the problem is. Maybe you don't have a lot of self self-discipline, a lot of self-esteem, um, no self-confidence, man. You always blaming people for your problems. You eating BS. You need to change your diet for that. But you sit like this. Like I said, always put your yellow light 
chest up, hold this in your hands, and you go ahead and say ram, right? Ram, so ram. Ram. That's how you heal that, and you just focus that attention on your, on your solar plexus. That's how you heal that joint. That's how you, that's how you awaken that joint. That's how you unlock that awareness, that imagination, that, that intention, that intuition, that gut feeling within your soul. So, we gonna get. That's how you heal it on the meditation level. Um, the way that you heal it on the yoga level. Let me go ahead and show y'all some yoga poses that y'all can do. Right here. You go ahead and lay back. Go ahead and lay back like this. It's called knees to chest. So you like this. You ready? Go ahead. Inhale. Put your head up here. Just inhale, exhale. You can rock a little bit if you want to. And also, it's wise that you make sure that you know what you're eating and receive it. You can't just be eating anything. You really have to treat your body like you want it to operate. You can't be eating BS and think your body going to operate or know what to do. Your intuition probably messed up because you eat BS. Your gut, you don't really feel your gut feeling, man, because you're so busy ha having bubble guts on the toilet and then, oh, oh, my stomach hurt. Of course, meat is not meant to be broken down in your system because it is unnatural for you to be eating it. That's why you won't have bubble guts. You feel me? So you gotta be very aware, man. You can't trust, you gotta learn, trusting your intuition, getting that victim mindset, oh, it's not my fault, all these other things, man, that comes into your diet, too. You feel me? That comes into your diet. So you need to stop being a victim, you need to stop doing, whatever your situation is, go ahead and set that attention before you do the practice. So another yoga thing that you can do, another yoga pose, you can do downward facing dog. So downward facing dog is like this. Y'all know, like this. Right, inhale, exhale. Picture that yellow light, whatever you need to release, man. my little more advanced people you can do something like this so crescent pose like this you know I mean? go ahead and get that open up uh, crescent pose oh you feel it all your stomach this is a good one Actually, you want to raise up a little bit. And then you can do triangle pose. So like this. Like this. Abdominal, abdominal area. Go ahead and open up. Receive, open that stomach. I feel like that's good for your heart too. But that is level three when it comes to the solar plexus, man. So, like I said, work on your solar plexus. Man, you, this is the third level. So make sure that you did the first level, the root, the grounding, the second level, the sacral, the sexual energy, and the third level. The solar plexus and the willpower because this is a process. This is a strong process, man. If you have any more questions, make sure y'all DM me because 
this is a strong process this is a very beneficial thing for you your solar plexus is the way that you're going to feel that intuition the willpower man get out the victim mindset and get hop into your chair man hop into your driving seat of your life but that's all i have to say man it's chosen horizon signing out man bow